Hello everyone, how is everyone doing? In this video, I'm going to touch on how to model a shower hot and cold tap cover. This tap cover not only provides indication which tap is for hot and cold water, but also prevent collection of water in the tap that could potentially cause the inner part to get rusty over time. Here I have this shower tap and you can see the top cover is missing. For the first time user, you will not be able to figure out which one is for hot and which one is for cold water. It's also exposed to water and dust which become dirty and rusty over time. So let's make a cover for them so that user know which one is hot and which one is cold and also prevent it getting dirty and rusty. Alright, let's get started with the 3D modeling of the tap cover. Start your free cat. If you do not have a copy of free cat, go to freecatweb.org. They are installer for Windows, Mac, and Linux. In free cat, select Part Design Workbench. Next, create a new document through File, New, or click on the new Create New Document tool here. Create a new body. We will be switching now to part workbench. In the part workbench, add a cylinder to the drawing here. All right. Select the cylinder and the radius of the cylinder, we are going to set it to 9mm. And the height of the cylinder will be 2.5mm. Next, add another cylinder to it. For the second cylinder, we are going to have a radius of 7mm and the height of 7.5 mm. With that, we will select both cylinder and make them union together as one piece. So now this is the uh, entire piece of the two cylinder. The next thing we're going to add is to select a geometry pyramid from here and click on this one. On the list here, we will select helix. For the pitch of the helix, we will set it to 1.5 mm and the height of the helix we will set to 5 mm and the radius of this helix will be 8 mm and we're going to offset it up by 3 mm all right create it so this is the uh, helix that we're going to create which is going to be the track of the cap itself close it all right to draw this track now we need to go back to draw a sketch so back to part design we will select new sketch and we'll use exact plan click ok this is how it look like and if in order for us to be able to see how this thing work, look like we will change the view to wired friend all right we're going to add a triangle here okay this is the triangle we're going to add and make sure that we set this to vertically fit it and from this point the tip of the triangle to the origin the distance it will be 8 mm and from the tip down to the origin, the vertical distance is 2.5 mm. Alright, good. And the distance between this point to here, uh, horizontal distance is 1.5 mm. Alright, it's fully constrained. We close it. Now, switch back to part workbench. In the part workbench, what you're going to do is to select sweep utility select the sketch and create a solid and select the sweep path which is the helix that we have created so you need to select multi all of them by holding on to your control key or command key in a map all right done and okay all right let's switch the view back to a east so they can see how it look like okay this is how it look like very good back to the model so we have a switch we have a fusion let's merge them together by selecting fusion followed by switch then the union tools all right so now they are in one piece the next thing i'm going to add is the feeder on the edge here so select the edge of the circle at the feeder of 1mm all right that's how it look like all right we're going to write a c character here for cold and h character here for hot to do that in part workbench select the bottom view of the object which is here now we go to draft workbench in the draft workbench make sure nothing is selected here the first thing you need to do is create custom and we will align it to the view and next select shape string from here 
right the string we're going to put is a C keep the height to 10 mm select the system font that we want to use okay I'm going to use this font here make sure that you reset this thing all right so that's the, how the C look like over here we're going to reposition the C into the center here by going to data placement position and going to change the position of this one by minus 4.5 and y to 4.5 all right so now it's centered okay so with the c written here next you switch back to park workbench and in the park workbench what we're going to do is with the shape string we're going to do an extrude so here we're going to make sure that it's along the normal and the length we only need 1 mm and we we'll select symmetric so that the 1 mm will be cut both sides all right create a solid and click ok so if you now rotate this thing you can see that the C is protruding out there all right with that we have the main object and then it's extrude and we're going to do a cut now the cut works and this is all you need you have a C cut into the cap itself we are good with that we'll save this we'll call it tap code save it next I will export this to STL for the slicer we we'll call it a tap code we're now going to create the other one for the hot okay instead of creating everything again I'm going to save we'll save this as tap hot and with that being saved, what you need to do is delete the cut and also delete the exclude and go back to shape string and change C to H which are good okay with that again we're going to exclude this choosing the uh, along normal and keep the length to 1 mm symmetric select the main object and the H exclude followed by a cut alright the H is done save it all right and we're going to export it to the SDL export and type in tag hot save it with the 3d model done and exported to SDL format we are now ready to import the SDL into the 3d printer slicer software start the slicer in the slicer click on the add button we'll do it one at a time we we'll do the tap code SDL first because we want to print them in two separate different color open it and this is how it look like we will print this with PLA filament we will leave the same print setting quality as for the in view let's leave it at 50% here that's all we need to do and just click on slice now and it will be sliced and you can drag the orange bar here to see how each layer is being sliced of course you can also rotate it to make sure that everything is good that's what we want it to be when you're good with that just need to click on export G code you can use the default name given or key in your own name for the uh, G code file alright when the uh, G code is exported successfully a pop-up message will show here to tell you that it's done successfully with that you can copy to the printer and get it print with the 3d model printed let's put the tap cover onto this shower tap these are the two printer parts one in a silver color the other one in white originally uh, the intention is to print the white for cold and orange for the hot but i run out of the orange filament so i print it gray but uh, it look good anyway let's put the cap onto the uh, tap itself this is the uh, silver for hot you can see h here next we'll put in the white for cold turn it in and you can also see the C over there this is the original two cap printed in orange and white however it does not print with the uh, letter of H and C let's recap what we have covered I would like to make that cover that would indicate which tap is for hot water and which one is for cold water we use free cap parts and draft workbench to model parts with cylinder, helix, triangle, sweet fillet, shape string 
union and cut tool to create the tape cover. Once the 3D model is completed, we export it to STL format that can be used on a 3D printer slicer software to slice it for 3D printing. Finally, with the printer part, the tap cover is put onto the shower tap that allow user to easily identify the purpose of the tap and also to prevent the tap from getting dirty and rusty. If you like this series of video and would like to support it, you can simply like the video, share it with your friends, family members and colleagues who can benefit from learning how to design 3D models using a CAD software and print them for daily usage. Of course, remember to subscribe for future videos. Last and not least, if you have comment on how to make the video better for your learning and have question on any part of the video, please drop them into the comment section below. I will do my best to answer them. Thank you for your attention. Bye.